What's up guys, Genetic Spartan here, and this is a tutorial on how to access the debug camera in Halo 4, also known as the pan cam, and this will allow you to move the camera outside the normal barriers of the map in theater mode, and allow you to get some interesting screenshots or shots for your machinimas. So first off, you want to go to Infinity and War Games and select a custom game. And you have to set your network to local, so that is the My Xbox 360 option. Now go and select the map that you're going to be taking screenshots of or filming. Um, I'm going to use Ragnarok for this example. And then go ahead and start the game. Once you have spawned, you can access debug mode by holding down A, B, X, and up on the D-pad for at least 2 seconds. And then you can change the mode from normal to pan cam by holding down B, clicking the right thumbstick, and then hitting left on the D-pad. Now these are the controls for the default button layout, so you might have to change according to the one that you're using. Now the next step is to kill your character using any death barrier. Now once your character has died, you can wait a few seconds before ending the game. Now go back to the menu to enter into theater mode. And make sure your film is selected. The film for the last game you played should already be selected by default. And then go ahead and play the film. When the film is started, you'll notice that pan cam mode is still active. At any point before your character dies, press Y until you're using the fly cam. Now after your character has died, you can press A to pause the film, and that'll keep your camera from resetting to the character's position if you were to fly too far away. Now while in pan cam mode, you can adjust the speed of the camera by using the up and down arrows on the D-pad, and you'll notice the numbers to the left of pan cam will change and the numbers can go from near zero all the way up to 100. While you're in pan cam mode, you can move the camera around horizontally using the left thumbstick, and you can look around using the right thumbstick. To move vertically, you use the left and right triggers, left to go down, right to go up, and those actually give you more control over the vertical speed than does the left and right bumpers of the normal camera controls. If you want to be able to use the normal theater camera controls, you can go back to normal mode by holding down B, the right thumbstick and clicking left on the d-pad again and that will switch your mode from pan cam back to normal and now the camera speed that you had set while in pan cam mode will move over to normal mode and now you can use your camera's boost function to go even faster and if you're set to a speed of 100 sometimes you can boost right through the map barriers that were set for the debug camera but the map starts to disappear at that point so it's possible to do it if you want to now, you do have to be in pan cam mode to be able to adjust the camera speed, so use the same button combo as before to switch modes. And now you'll be able to use the up and down arrows on the D-pad again to adjust the camera speed value. And if you want to hide the debug text, you can hold down B, right thumbstick, and hit right on the D-pad. And now you won't have a bunch of numbers on the screen when you record your shots. You don't have to do this for screenshots though because the text won't render anyways. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial on the Halo 4 debug camera. I'm glad I could figure this out and be able to share it with you guys, and I hope you'll find it useful for your own creations. So, uh, take care, and, uh, happy machinimating!